application of linear equations. The taffy apple problem! But first we need to read the problem. A Michigan orchard made 13,912 pounds of taffy apples with approximately one pound of taffy mixture for each 63.5 pounds of apples. To the nearest tenth of a pound, how many apples and how many pounds of taffy were used? So we read the problem. What goes into a taffy apple? Taffy and apples and maybe a stick, but the problem didn't mention anything about a stick. So let's not worry about it. We're talking about the total weight of these taffy apples. So let's get into that problem. Oh boy, what are we gonna need? Taffy and apples. When we put them together, we're gonna get the total. And that's what's happening here. Taffy plus apples. That's going to equal the total. To okay, so what? Taffy plus apples is going to be 13,912 pounds when we put the weights together. So wait, let me get this straight. We also have that apples is equal to 63.5 pounds of taffy. Now, let's go more into this. Which one's bigger, the taffy or the apples? The apples! Otherwise, you're gonna have a really, really chewy treat. So I treat you to this conversion. Yeah, there's a multiple on the taffy because the taffy is smaller. Whatever the taffy is, you multiply it by 63.5 and you'll get the weight of the apples. Wait, if I had one pound of taffy, one times 63.5 is gonna be 63.5. So one pound of taffy, gonna treat a whole bunch of apples. So, if I had two pounds of taffy, then I would have like 126, 127-ish pounds of apples. How you like them apples? What am I going to do with that transformation? I'm going to make one linear equation. This guy. So what do I have? In place of the apples, I can now put 63.5 times the taffy. So I'm going to have the taffy plus, wait for it, wait for it, 63.5 times the taffy, because that's what the apples is. So we go and we continue on. Boom, that's gonna be equal to the 13,912 that they previously said that this Michigan orchard made. Now, gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And we find that there's gonna be 64.5 times the taffy. That's gonna be 13,912. Why? Because you can see a one in front of here. And one plus 63.5 is 64.5 T. Finish him. You're a finish him. So, and we're going to go and we're going to finish this. We're going to divide both sides by 64.5. And we're going to have T is equal to, wait for it, wait for it, 215.68992. I did that in my head. It's written on the wall over there. So they say round to the tenth, and we do. So T's gonna be about two, one, five points. Wait for it. Seven is it. Now, we wanna go and we wanna find how many pounds of apples we're gonna have. We know we have 215 pounds-ish of taffy, so I can go over here without laffy. Oh. Since we know, since we know, since we know, they know, they know, they know, that 63.5 T is going to be the amount of apples I can go and find my previous taffy. But down in the comments below, not the comments, the description, there's a video about rounding. We don't want to use any rounded figures in our calculations. We want to use something more appropriate. So, we're going to use this guy. Why? It's a more exact value. 
we're using the unrounded part. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw that up in T. What else could we have done? We could have also taken our found T and plugged it in here, here, and then subtracted it off there to get our apples. But since we have this and it's all nice, I'm gonna say A is equal to 63.5 times, what's my T value? Do I wanna use this? No, I wanna use my unrounded figure. That's 215.68992. Oh, so I go and I throw that in there and I calculate and computate. So when I do that, I get 13,696.3099 and then I'm gonna round that to get my apples to the nearest mm, tenth of a pound. So my apples are 13,696.3. Oh, so a taffy apple a day might keep the doctor away, but you may have to see a dentist. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.